Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is in a brand new setup. I thought I would try something different. This is actually a different lens and I'm sitting at my vanity. This lens lets me sit a little bit closer to the camera. The camera's barely a foot away from me. With my other setup where you can see my nail polish behind me, I'm sitting a good six feet away from my camera. So a lot of times I feel like I can't really see what's going on in the viewfinder. So I don't know if something's out of focus or if it's a little bit washed out because the lights are too bright. So I thought I'd try something new and sit at my vanity and see how it goes. So let me know in the comment box below if you like this the lighting, the setup, the whole just different situation, let me know. Let's just dive right in. This is going to be my September favorites. So some of you may know my birthday already passed. The month of September is my birthday month. My birthday is actually September 17th. So yes, I am a Virgo. I had a great birthday party. If you guys missed anything about my birthday, I actually posted a vlog last week where I took you along with me. I went to dinner and then the next day we went to the Harry Potter concert, which was amazing. If you're a Harry Potter fan, definitely check it out if it comes to town because it was awesome. It was so good. So let's move into the favorites. The first thing I wanted to mention has to do with cleaning my house and ever since we bought our new house everything was brand new and clean I want to keep it looking that way so I've been really into watching videos on YouTube on how to quickly clean your home keep it germ free and just keep it smelling great so this is something I actually picked up on my own I saw one girl in a video using a spray kind of cleaner to spray her countertops and just wipe down any residue really really quickly started to look for something like that I actually found this one at my um, grocery store for about two dollars it's from Clorox and this is their Sentiva Multi-Surface Cleaner. Just a spray that you can spray anywhere you want, whether it's your countertops, your kitchen sink. I like to use this for my countertops, for the actual faucets in the sink in the kitchen or in the bathroom. It just makes it smell amazing. This is in the Tuscan Lavender and Jasmine scent. It powers through any tough grease or grime. It really cleans my stovetop as well. It's bleach free. And of course it kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. So for example, when I bring in the mail and I put it on my countertop after I'm done going through, it and I throw everything I don't want away. I like to spray my countertop with this because it'll get rid of any germs that may have come through that mail that has been through many different hands and it would kill germs and clean my house. So it's definitely worth it. So I thought I would mention it today and again it's under three dollars and it's the one from Clorox but it is bleach free. So my next favorite is actually a couple of fashion favorites. I thought I'd kind of clump them together. So the first thing is crushed velvet. I have been seeing it all over the runway. It's one of my absolute favorite trends especially for fall because there's something so luxury about velvet it makes me think of a princess in Romania like the Anastasia I believe it's a Disney cartoon movie so crushed velvet has been on my radar and as you can see my top today is a crushed velvet crop top it's really cute really comfy and I was actually wearing this top in my fashion vlog so I will insert a picture right now and if you want to see more pictures of this top and the outfit in general you can go to my blog fashionchalet.net another favorite was these beautiful little loafers they're actually knockoffs of the Gucci I didn't really think it was worth forking over a few hundred dollars for a pair of shoes but I didn't mind spending 20 bucks so I got them in red and I also got them in black and I'll pop a picture of me wearing those on my blog as well I actually wore those on my birthday dinner and yeah they're really really comfy they're really cute because they're slip-on meals and they have this pretty little like brass hardware and I like this for fall because sometimes your feet are cold as the weather starts to cool down but you don't necessarily feel like wearing a hot boot you want to wear something that's going to cover your toes, keep you warm, but not make your feet sweat. So this is a perfect thing to just kind of throw on with a pair of jeans, a cardigan, and a t-shirt. I could go run groceries, run any errands, and it's kind of like a comfy house slipper that has gone fashion forward. So I really like these, and I picked them up in black and this kind of velvety burgundy maroon shade. I just thought they were really pretty. Especially if I wear all black, these will really pop. My next favorite is something I am wearing today and it's the Beauty Crop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Date Night and it's called their Matte Liquid Lipstick. It's really comfortable. It wears very powdery and soft. I feel like I don't really notice that I'm wearing anything. It doesn't pull at my lips. It's a very, very comfortable wear. I wore this in one of the outfit posts that I popped up here, the one with this top. And my mom kept asking me what it was. I told her I'd never heard of this brand, the Beauty Crop, before. I actually got this in a BoxyCharm, but I will definitely look more into this brand because I'm very impressed with this lip color. I think it's really pretty. It's kind of like a fall berry shade that meets a nice mauve kind of neutral at the same time. It's different. It's not as neutral or nude as a mauve or nude lipstick would be, but it does have that mauve to it with a touch of that kind of fall berry pop, which I really like. This next favorite won't be a surprise if you've been watching my channel recently, and it's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 Eyeshadow Palette. I also got this in a BoxyCharm. I love this palette because it is the perfect everyday go-to palette. It has the most perfect neutral everyday go-to shades. They're just what you need to have for transitioning, for deepening the outer crease, and just having a natural everyday look. You have these darker shades right here that will 
kind of amp up your everyday look and take it to night. So you can definitely wear this palette to work, wear it throughout the day, come home and just touch up with some of these darker shades and just kind of maximize the eye look and just vamp it up a little bit more for nighttime wear. Another thing I really like about this palette, other than the fact that it's pigmented enough, the blendability is amazing, but the fact that this palette doesn't give you any fallout is amazing. Not when you dip your brush into the powders, not when you apply it to your eyes. You don't know how this palette works, that it picks up that powder onto your brush, but it doesn't cause any kick up, any fallout, and you're getting that pigmentation. It, it just kind of blows my mind. I love this palette. I think it's amazing. Perfect for traveling. It's compact and the packaging is so, so cute. And then this next palette is the one I wore on my birthday. This is the Subculture Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I know there's been a lot of backlash and kind of negative reviews on this palette because it does offer a ton of kick up. I feel like you will go through these powders rather quickly because of that, and that's the only thing I don't like about it, but I'm willing to overlook it simply because these are the most pigmented shadows I've ever worked with. I literally need to not even tap my brush into these powders and I have enough to not only apply them to one eyelid, but both. Blendability is amazing. So it's pigmented, it blends well, and they're beautiful, beautiful fall perfect shades that I'm gonna be reaching for the rest of this year. Just be sure to be careful when you're dipping into these powders so that you don't overuse the powders. You don't break them down too quickly and so that you don't hit pan faster than you need to. But other than that, just be careful. I mean, the palette is definitely worth it because if you're gonna spend money on a palette, aren't you looking for something that's gonna be pigmented? At least I am. I really do love it. I'm glad I picked it up. I almost didn't because I heard so many negative reviews on it, but I actually love it. It's awesome. This next favorite I wore on my actual birthday. This is the ColourPop Press Powder Face Highlighter in the shade here, Kitty Kitty. It comes in this cute little packaging. I don't know if you can see right there. And then inside it's in this cute little compact white packaging. And here Kitty Kitty is a beautiful, soft, almost pinky champagne shade. If you're looking for an intense highlight that is also glossy, that's what you're gonna get with this. The littlest amount goes the longest of ways. Be careful when you're applying it to your nose because the first time I applied it, even though I did like it and it showed well on photos and in video, it just really picked up the light. In person, it did look a little bit greasy. Even my mom asked if I wanted to touch up with powder and I said, no, that's highlight. But I do love this product and when you're doing a more intense face overall, I think an intense highlight pairs well with it. So here Kitty Kitty has been something I've been reaching for for the past couple of weeks and I really, really enjoy it. Something else that I thought I would mention that I've been loving not only this month, but I've been loving it for the last couple of months and it's a breakfast. It's called Overnight Oats, which is basically taking some old-fashioned oats, not the instant oatmeal. The ones that say old-fashioned means they have to be cooked or boiled. Basically take that old-fashioned oatmeal dry you measure out that with some milk or water and you mix it in with some ingredients and you stick it in your fridge overnight for up to eight hours. Once it reaches that eight hour kind of time frame, they're cooked and you can eat them. And I have been loving the heck out of this. In fact, I make about four a week ahead of time. Every Sunday, I'll set aside four mason jars and kind of like an assembly line, prepare these little guys and put them in the fridge. And then for the next four days, I have breakfast ready. All I have to do is add some fruit, get a spoon, and I'm good to go. Now the good thing with these is you can make up to five ahead of time because they will keep fresh in your fridge up to five days. And I'll be sure to link the ingredients below. I just top them with some freshly chopped strawberries and a couple of blueberries. It's definitely a lifesaver and it's healthy and it's delicious. Another favorite has been collecting graphic t-shirts. I love graphic tees. I have a ton from Forever 21. Etsy makes amazing ones. Urban Outfitters makes them. You can find them pretty much on any website and they'll usually have a graphic tee section. I have so many. probably be wearing more and more of them on my channel in my videos because they're just comfy. I like to hang around the house in t-shirts, make them cute graphic tees. So that has definitely been an obsession. Another favorite statement earrings like these. I love big, bold earrings, especially in the fall time. I feel like they really dress up your look. They're fun and they just add a little bit of luxury. Another favorite is this simple micellar makeup remover wipes. They have 25 wipes in here. They gently cleanse and hydrate the skin while removing any dirt, oil, and of course makeup. This not only removes all of my makeup, but my mascara, which is amazing. Sometimes I do follow up with a little bit of Bioderma on a cotton pad, but I really love these wipes on their own. And the reason why I like them so much is that they are very saturated. There's a lot of water in these wipes where I feel like a lot of other wipes that come out on the market are very dry once you pull them out. They don't 
really kind of saturate your face and remove the makeup at the same time. Whereas this one stays very saturated throughout the entire time you're removing product from your face. And it removes that mascara, it leaves your face feeling refreshed, hydrated. It's not scratchy, it just does a really good job. And one of the reasons I love it is because I really only need one sheet. On the very rare occasion, I'll need two, but mostly one is enough, which is great. Because I don't know how many makeup wipes I've gone through where the packaging, I need to reach for two or three wipes in order to get the job done. Whereas this one, I only really need one. And again, it's the simple micellar makeup remover wipes. Another favorite is this playlist on Spotify. It's called Chill Hop Fall. And it's basically like really chill, vibey, kind of jazzy instrumental music, but it's for fall. And it has, I believe, 20 songs on it. I just found it. I've been listening to it while I was doing my makeup. I've been listening to it for the past couple weeks when I'm just kind of relaxing and I don't want to listen to words. I just want some kind of music in the background. And I believe it's from last year's fall. It was probably a compilation or something. I don't know if you can see it there, but I really... But yeah, I really like it. These next two little eyeshadow duos are from LA Colors. They're a drugstore affordable brand. I find it on their website, but you can also find them, I believe, at some dollar trees i'm not really sure these are their duo eyeshadows and i have been loving these two i wore them on my birthday i'm wearing them today and they are toasty and then this darker one is called goddess toasty has a really pretty metallic -y gold which is what i'm wearing all over the lid and a really soft kind of fawn brown it reminds me a lot of the anastasia shade soft powders that blend they pick up with your brush and they do offer the pigmentation not as much as the anastasia palette but these are 350 and i think they do a wonderful job for the price and again Toasty has been a favorite and then on my birthday and throughout fall I will be wearing Goddess a lot more because this is basically fall in a compact. You have a deeper darker bronze and then this beautiful kind of wine tone color. It's kind of like pumpkin spice in a compact. I really like it and I'm really impressed with the pigment as well. So that's it guys, that wraps it up. Hopefully you enjoyed my September favorites. Let me know what you've been loving this past month because I would definitely love to check it out if I have not already. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so I can see you guys in my next video. I love you guys and I will see you very, very soon. Bye guys.